Hello everyone! In today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to trigger an AWS stat function after a file is uploaded to an S3 bucket. In the image we can see we're going to use three AWS services. After a file is uploaded to an S3 bucket AWS will publish an event and we'll get that event from a Lambda function. From within the Lambda function we are going to trigger an stat function programmatically using the Boro3 library. So let's begin. Let's start by creating our serverless application. For that, let's go to our terminal. And let's use this command from the serverless framework. Here we are specifying the template that we want to use to create to generate our application uh, we're going to be using Python 3 and this is the path so the path is the folder that we're going to create so let's do that to generate our application okay after that let's cd into our folder and I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code super handy that you can um, spin up your, your editor from the console. And now let's clean this up a little bit. Now let's declare our Lambda function. As you can see in the events section, we are declaring how do we want to trigger our Lambda function. In this case, we are saying that every time there is a new object created, our Lambda function is going to get triggered. We also have an environment section that is assigning to this variable the ARN of our uh, STAT function. In just a few seconds, we are going to declare our stat function. Bear with me. After this, let's replace our Lambda function code with this. So as you can see here, the environment variable that we just declare here, we are assigning to a variable. This is how we initialize the client to access uh, a stat function programmatically from Boro3 and what we are doing here is when the event comes in we are getting the records because the event can have many records for example in the case that you uploaded more than one file at the same time you will receive multiple records so for each record we are going to invoke our stat function using the start execution this way we identify what is that function do we want to execute and in here we are passing as an input the S3 object that is coming from the event our final step is to declare the stat function so for that we are gonna be using a plugin named serverless stat function. Let's add the following to the end of our serverless.yaml. As you can see here, we are declaring the serverless stat function. Um, we're also declaring the serverless AN role per function. It is really, really recommended that you always use this in all your serverless application. So you minimize the access that is Lambda function has within your application. So let's review very quickly our Lambda function. To declare Lambda function, we um, use this top level section, stat function, after that the state machines because we can declare more than uh, one stat function in, in our service. Here we're um, naming within our serverless application 
uh, our step function and then we declare our, our stages. In this case, we are declaring three DOMI stages, validate image, generate thumbnail, and notify user. This is not really doing anything because as you can see here, the type is pass. This means that it's not gonna call any other external resource. It's just gonna pass to the next task this result. So in this case, it's gonna pass valid. In this case, it's gonna pass thumbnail created. And finally, it's gonna pass notification sent. And the resources section is to be able to get the Lambda function ARN and pass it as an environment variable to our Lambda function. Remember this declaration that we did here. Now, we're almost ready to deploy our application, but before that, we need to install our two plugins. So let's open up a terminal. I'm gonna use CHL. Now we need to declare into a package.json. And now we can install it with npm. Now let's install the other plugin. And now let's deploy our application. Now that our application is created, it's time to go to the AWS console and try it. So let's go to a three. This is our bucket, the one that we declared to create. And now we need to upload the file. Let's upload it. And after that, let's find our stat function. As we can see here, we have one succeeded um, execution. Now let's go to our stat function details. We can see here the executions. We only have one. If we go to the execution detail, these are our three steps. If we click here and we go to the input parameter, we can see that this is the S3 object that AWS sent out as part of the event to the Lambda function. And the Lambda function is passing this as an input parameter to our stat function. Before we go, remember that all the code is under Cloud Recipe, under my account, and GitHub. So I will be posting here all the code for all the um, examples. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and see you on the next one.